guys. Welcome back. Welcome back to Audrey's Reading Area. All right, all right, all right. I am in North Carolina at my girl Tanya's house, and we're here with her daughter, Talisa. That's my girl. That's my girl. These are my cousins and my friends. I'm loving it here, having a ball. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving yesterday. I know I did. We did. They're over there watching. I might just turn the camera and show them. They're trying to be all shy. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me here at Audrey's Reading Area. You guys know today is Inspirational Friday. Inspirational Friday. Inspirational Friday. So, I got, a, I got another fun and exciting book that I'm going to read for you guys. Yes, yes, yes. This book is, says Jesus Calling. Jesus Calling. It's, it's got a lot of Bible stories in this book. Jesus Calling. And the book that I'm going to read to you guys, we've got Ruth and Naomi sitting right here. Ruth and Naomi. All right, all right, all right. All right, so Ruth and Naomi. This is from the book of Ruth. Wait for me, Ruth begged her mother-in-law, Naomi. I'll go with you. Your God will be my God, and I will never leave you. Ruth was as beautiful on the inside as she was on the outside. Her husband and his brother, Naomi's sons, had died. Naomi's husband had died too. So Naomi decided to go back to where she used to live. Ruth would not let her go alone. So the two women traveled many miles to Bethlehem, Naomi's homeland. When they got there, Ruth and Naomi were too poor to buy food. They lived on leftover grain that Ruth found in the fields that belonged to Naomi's wealthy relative, a man named Boaz. When Boaz saw Ruth gathering grain, he invited her to lunch. It's wonderful that you are so kind to Naomi, Boaz said. May God repay you for your kindness. Before Ruth left, Boaz made sure she had plenty of food to share with Naomi. Yeah, there they go, there they go. All right, all right. Inspirational Friday. When Ruth came home with all that food, Naomi said, God bless Boaz. He is my husband's close relative. He will take care of us. Then Naomi had an idea. Hmm. She thought it would be good if Boaz married Ruth. Boaz thought it was a good idea too. Hmm. Ruth and Boaz got married and had a baby boy. They named him Obed. His grandmother, Naomi, loved him, and he loved her back. When Obed grew up, he had a son, and later, his son had a son. And that little boy grew up to be Mighty King David. Mighty King David. Isn't God great? He rewarded Ruth's kindness and turned Naomi's sad life into something good. God used people from different countries, like Ruth and Rahab, in his plan to help his children. So it has a space right here, part where it says Jesus is calling. And I'm gonna read that to you guys. All things work together for good to those who love God. Everything that happens fits into my plan for good if you love me. Trust me with big things like your friendships and future dreams. You can always also trust me for little everyday things. Remember how I took care of Ruth and Naomi? Nothing is too big or small for me. So talk with me about everything. All right, all right, all right. Thank you guys so much for being here as I read these fun and exciting books to you guys on this inspirational Friday too. I will see you guys on Monday, fun day Monday. So please, please, please go over to YouTube Hit subscribe on Audrey's Reading Area. And don't forget, you can either like this one and you can share it with everybody so everybody else can get to enjoy it too. Once again, thank you guys so much for being here, Audrey's Reading Area, and I will see you again live, L-I-V-E, at 5 on Monday. See you soon.